Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Gold with your daily analysis for Thursday, 31st of July, recording the video 5.15pm Eastern Standard Time. Movement below 1291.83 invalidated two wave counts, leaving one. The second alternate wave count, which I published first yesterday, turns out to be correct. We are expecting a little bit more downward movement now to 1275 to 1271. It should be over within 24 hours, and when it's done, I'll then be expecting a trend change at minor degree and a new wave up to last several days to take price above 1345.22. Let's have a look at the daily chart. This is now the only wave count by a simple process of elimination. I can see an alternate, I'll discuss it briefly when I get to the end of my analysis of this chart, but it has a really, really low probability, so I really don't want to publish it yet. At this stage, it's extremely likely that primary wave 4 is an incomplete triangle and that we're within the very final zigzag for intermediate wave E, subdividing 535. This is a zigzag to the downside for minor wave B. 5, triangle for the B wave, and we need the C wave to complete. This triangle is the sole corrective structure, and if we were trying to label primary 4 as over here, and primary 5 downward beginning here, then we would have a triangle in a second wave position. A second wave cannot subdivide solely into a triangle, so that just doesn't make sense. Now there is a possibility that primary 4 is over here, and primary 5 has begun, and we're starting with a leading diagonal, because within leading diagonals, first waves may subdivide as zigzags. That is possible, but I've actually never seen a zigzag within a first wave of a leading diagonal that has a triangle in its B wave position. It just doesn't look very typical. Leading diagonals and first wave positions aren't actually very common, and what's much, much more likely, this wave count has a much higher probability. We're still in intermediate wave E. Movements out of triangles are usually relatively short, sharp and brief, so I'm not expecting too much more downward movement. It should be over within 24 hours. If downward movement gets as low as this black BD trend line, and I don't think it will, but if it did get down there, I could handle an intra-hour overshoot of this trend line, but if we start to see full hourly candlesticks below this black trend line, then this wave count would substantially reduce in probability, and at that point I would then publish my alternate idea for you. I don't want to publish that idea yet though, because it has such a very, very low probability. Minor wave B can't move beyond the start of A below 1240.51. When I know where minor wave B has ended, I'll use the ratio between A and C to calculate an upward target for you. I can't calculate a target for C yet because I don't know where it begins. All I can say at this point is minor C is extremely likely to move at least slightly beyond the end of A above 1345.22 to avoid a truncation. Intermediate wave E is most likely to fall short of the AC trend line, but the other possibility for it is it could overshoot this trend line, and if it does, it might find final resistance when it comes to touch the upper edge of the big maroon channel, copied over here from the weekly chart. Intermediate wave E may not move beyond the end of C above 1392.30. Some members have suggested possibly we could have one and an expanded flat correction, sorry, a running flat correction ending here. I am not going to consider a possibility with a substantially truncated C wave for a running flat correction. The few running flats I've seen over the years have only slightly truncated C waves. I've actually never seen a running flat with a C wave substantially truncated. I've seen plenty of wave counts saying that that's the case, but they're not usually, they're not very good wave counts. Such a probability is extremely low. I would not consider it. Let's have a look at this on the hourly chart with the end of C of this triangle up here is this point here. So we have a 535 zigzag down for D, and I think on this doji, this is actually where E has ended. I've looked at possibilities which could see E ending here or here, and they just don't quite have the right fit. There'd be a substantial truncation in there. 
what's most likely is E ends here, and this is where minute, minute wave B triangle ended, and this is the start of the C wave down with 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, and we just need the final fifth wave down. At 1271, minute wave C would reach 0.618, the length of minute wave A, and at 1275, minuet wave 5 will reach equality in length with minuet wave 1. Here, the third wave is extremely close to 1.618, the length of the first wave, and that gives me just a little bit more confidence that my labelling of this piece of movement is right. So I am expecting just one more final fifth wave down. When that's done, then minor wave B in its entirety will be a complete structure and I'll be expecting a trend change in the beginning of a new five wave structure up at minor degree. While the final fifth wave is incomplete, if this fourth wave continues any further, and it most certainly could, if it continues, it can't move into first wave price territory above 1292.84. As soon as we have a possibly completed fifth wave, the short-term invalidation point no longer applies as an invalidation point, but subsequent movement above this invalidation point after the fifth wave is done would indicate to us the upward movement at that stage could not be just a fourth wave correction, and so this downward impulse for minute wave C would then have to be complete. Minor wave B would most likely to be complete and so subsequent movement above this point would indicate to us that minor wave C at that stage has probably begun. The only problem with this downward movement is it doesn't fit very well in an Elliott channel. The green channel is drawn from 1 to 3 with a copy on 2, but we've got quite a strong second wave overshoot of it at the upside. That's a bit unusual. I've drawn another channel around the middle of this from 1 to 3 with a copy on 2, so both of them are drawn using Elliott's first technique. I would want to see both of these trend channels clearly breached with upwards movement in the very first instance, giving us our earliest indication that the downward trend has finished and the next wave up would then be underway. We may get that earliest confirmation within the next 24 hours. In next analysis, I'll probably be able to calculate a target for the next wave up for you. I can't do that today. I may be able to do that tomorrow. That's all for me today with your gold analysis, and I hope that all our members are looking forward to a fabulous weekend.